The birth of O-Rise can be traced back to two individuals, Dr. William G. Pollard and Dr. Catherine Way. In 1944, during World War II, under the cover of Columbia University's Special Alloys and Metals Laboratory, Pollard was asked to join the Manhattan Project. Pollard and his fellow researchers were told very little about the purpose of their work, and it was only after the atomic bombs were dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki that they realized the significance of and the responsibility for their research. After the war, there was a dilemma with what to do with the laboratories and the people that were tied to them. According to local lore, a casual conversation at a reunion party of University of Tennessee faculty members would affect the rest of Dr. Pollard's life and Oak Ridge's future. At the dinner table, these brilliant minds began to discuss ways to connect the universities and the labs to both develop scientists of the future and to continue using the newly created scientific assets for peacetime activities. It is said that it was during this conversation that a very precocious physicist named Dr. Catherine Way made an exciting suggestion to Dr. Pollard. Oak Ridge, she said, has so many facilities that U.S. universities lacked, why couldn't it be made into a permanent educational institution itself? Pollard cultivated the necessary support of both the federal government and 14 Southern schools to create the Oak Ridge Institute for Nuclear Studies, or ORINS, in October of 1946. Early the following year, ORINS then entered an agreement with the Atomic Energy Commission, which would later become the Department of Energy, and thereby became an asset to the Atomic Energy Commission. As you can see, ORISE's beginnings stem back to the 1940s. The organization's mission generally remained the same throughout the years, but the programs it managed evolved over time. Take note that in 1966, ORINS became Oak Ridge Associated Universities. Keep in mind, at this point in time, though, ORU was not a corporation that we know it to be now. In 1991, DOE headquarters procurement staff reviewed the Oak Ridge recommendation that the ORU contract be extended. They additionally reviewed the Federal Acquisition Regulation, or FAR clause, covering managing and operating contractors, and noted that ORU was alone in the DOE complex as being the only MO without a different entity managing it. In other words, ORU managed DOE's ORU entity. DOE concluded that failure to name a facility for ORU to operate could jeopardize its m and status. In three months, it was decided to come up with a name and separate the two. The Oak Ridge Institute for Science and Education, or ORISE, became the new name of the DOE entity, and ORU became the operating entity managing that work. The separation of ORISE and ORU created a clear distinction between ORU corporate activities and the activities that were performed on behalf of DOE and the federal government. Currently, ORISE not only supports the entire DOE enterprise, but also extends its support to DOE strategic partners, primarily at other federal agencies. As a result, ORISE's impact to the nation is significant. This impact is articulated clearly through the ORISE 5 performance work statement areas to include recruit and prepare the next generation of our nation's scientific workforce, promote sound scientific and technical investment decisions through independent peer reviews, facilitate and prepare for medical management of radiation incidents in the U.S. and abroad, evaluate health outcomes in workers exposed to chemical and radiological hazards on the job, and ensure public confidence in environmental cleanup through independent environmental assessments. ORISE's mission is sponsored directly by the DOE Office of Science, which is the single largest supporter of basic research and the physical sciences in the United States. For more information about how ORISE continues to advance DOE's mission, visit orise.oru.gov.